everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. So for those who haven't been here and don't know, because I don't know how much I've mentioned it, um, I used to listen to Evanescence all the time when I was younger. Um, I was That was my number one band. I had the black hair, the eyebrow ring, everything uh, many years ago. So I haven't heard anything uh, in a while. I had heard part of their album that came out back in, I want to say it was 2017. Um, it was softer, you know, um, uh, symphony kind of style, uh, but I, and it was good from what I heard, but it just, I don't listen to that enough. I prefer rock music. But anyway, um, I have not heard this song and I'm really excited because Amy Lee's voice is beautiful. So let's check it out. Cover my ears and close my eyes. Just long enough to stop the noise Go on, take everything and throw it away But I will use my much different than what I know uh, of Amy Lee. I wasn't expecting that. I felt it slowed down. I was like, yes, we're about to get some heavy rock. This is not heavy rock. Uh, but I still oop, that's the wrong button. Sorry, bear with me. I'm trying to make my screen brighter because the video is kind of the brightness isn't that bright. <laughs> That's a nice spot for fireworks. Drown every truth in an ocean of lies. Take me a bitch because I dare to draw me my own line. Put every bridge and build a wall in my way. Did I miss something? Did somebody call her that? I don't like that word. I won't use that word. That's such a... It's not a good word. It puts people down. A specific, you know, class of people or group of people. Um, and then I see guys use it to down other guys. That, that's a completely different topic. I don't have any say over there. But as a female, <laughs> uh, I don't like that word at all. So who called her that? Whether you like it or not, you're going to take what I got. All right, then. Okay, I'm getting, I think I know now what. I think I understand this now. Okay, so it showed she was in Washington, it looked like DC, and you're gonna take what I got. I think she means her opinion, I hope. And because it's showing women marching with use my voice, talking about being silenced. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'm caught up now, I think. I think <laughs>
bloody hell, I think. I don't know who the others are. Okay, I just had to listen to more of the song to actually understand exactly what she was saying. Because at first she was saying, don't call me that word, and tried to silence me. So, at, like, early on in the song, I thought she was saying basically, like, her spouse or lover, uh, significant other, was, you know, basically speaking for her. Which does happen in relationships way more than it should. Uh, so I thought she was basically trying to say, don't call me a bad word because I'm trying to express myself. Because... I can I can relate to that, you know, being silenced to, to that degree. Um, but then as I listened to the song and then the visuals started making more sense, I think it's, you know, more relating to just letting your voice be heard, your opinion, and what you want to see. I think one of my children are crying. Uh, what you want to see happen in the country, uh, whether you live here in the U.S., Although this video is probably going to get blocked in the U.S. like it did last time. Um, but she was saying, you know, use your voice. Don't let your voice be silenced. And I, I, I really like that about the song. The song style is definitely not my style. Uh, but it was really well done. And I think it was a really good empowerment song. Because there are plenty of times that people, maybe not everybody, but people feel like they're not heard or at a especially certain groups, classes, areas of people that I feel like, well, whatever, what I feel doesn't matter. Um, it was a good empowerment song for using your voice. And then I liked at the end that she said, go vote. Did you know, and I think it was, what was the last election? 2016, uh, for, for one of my, um, anyway, I wrote a thing the other day about voting. And did you know 56% of eligible voters in the United States. That means people that can vote. 56% of them voted in the 2016 election. 56%. So 44% of the people that can vote, could vote that year, chose not to vote. I'm just saying. So I, I understand that. When I was younger, I didn't understand why everything said go vote, go vote, because as soon as I turned 18, I went and registered. It's like, yeah. I live here. Anyway, I'm sorry. That's a completely separate topic, different video. Anyway, if you are able to vote, you should. When people say my vote doesn't matter, it it does. So whoever you want for this or this, that's that's your decision. But to vote. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. That was definitely uh, an empowering song for sure. Um, I don't know if I'll listen to it again just because the style is a little bit different than what I normally listen to. Um, but I'm glad I watched it at least so I can see kind of what Amy Lee is um, putting out musically lately. But I really like how applicable it is. I don't know how old this video is. I want to say it's kind of new. So she kind of hit the nail on the head with timing as far as putting out a song about being silenced and using your voice and making sure you're heard so well done amy lee uh, you're amazing your voice is beautiful you should, you're just a beautiful person and I, I love that you did this um and you know hopefully it gets some people's attention thanks for tuning in i'll see y'all next time make sure you hit the like button subscribe and yep thanks for watching have a good one